Hello Internet, my name is Vedrit, and welcome back to my monthly development update video for the False World. Before I get to various updates, I have an announcement to make. A programmer has joined the project, making this an actual team, so it is no longer just me working on this. Um, I'll refer to this programmer by his username of Joshmond, and he brings with him several years of C Sharp and Unity experience. And uh, with his help, we've gone over some of the scripts and uh, come up with ways where they could be worked, reworked to improve things, uh, make them smoother, or to make them scale in the future. Uh, one such thing is the dialog system. Uh, how I had it before, this text was all hard coded into the script in English, which is not so great when you're wanting to make this available to people who don't read English. Uh, the system that Joshman proposed is a much better improvement. Um, it scales a lot easier and it opens up the possibility of having the game translated into different languages. Uh, Joshman has been given a list of tasks to complete. Unfortunately, they didn't make it into this update, uh, but hopefully next time. As for things that I have done, um, I have reworked the system that detects when you're in a conversation with the NPCs or with objects. Um, I'm not sure if I've made an improvement or just changed things. Um, that will have to wait for a playtest. Otherwise, we have a loot system. Uh, this will this is kind of the precursor for uh, looting drops off of uh, any kills, any monsters, that sort of thing. Um, it will also be used for uh, like quest rewards. So that's good. That's making progress. I have also finished up building inventories. So you can put items in, you can take items out, you can swap things around. All that fun stuff. And you grab my other character here, or other account. Wait for it. Ta -da. This can sort of be used as trading, which I don't mind. And uh, it appears that there are still some bugs that need to be worked out, but it's come a long ways. I do need to also go through the system that manages these uh, inventory slots and make sure that I've got every step, every possible situation accounted for. Um, as for what's coming up next month, I'm going to be reworking the Keep Alive system. Once again, right now it is kind of a mess and I've noticed some problems that crop up in certain situations. Um, I will keep Josh Munn's task a secret for now. Um, I want that to be a bit of a surprise. I might also try and tackle getting a rudimentary chat system working. So, until next time, be good.